Hi everybody, it's Tim Bartz here, Law MacArthur Ford, Salina, Kansas, uh, your source for Ford news, update, and information. And yesterday I had a, all right, recently I had a video go live about the uh, email that went out to uh, customers with Ford Mavericks. And, uh, you, know, you know, I learned some more things, got some information from several different sources uh, from Ford on some information to kind of update us a little bit more uh, than what I did in that video, which I'll link that video down below. Uh, but in, it may be a video that I take offline because there's something that I have that is incorrect in the video. Uh, but uh, tonight, on tonight's live stream, I actually discussed um, the information that I learned since that video was released that I think will help a lot of people out that are uh, wanting to know what is the process between converting your 22 order to 23, what it's going to look like and what happens and what are what are the constraint items that they're talking about in the email. Uh, I think over some of those in that video, but I think this is a very, this is going to be a better, a better video for you. So check out this uh, part of the live stream where I discussed this. It was on Facebook Live on our Facebook page, on our MacArthur um, uh, Facebook group. And so hopefully this video kind of helps you out. It's about a seven minute video. So uh, take, enjoy this video and then I'll come and kind of wrap it up at the end. I do want to talk about a topic uh, here uh, right now because uh, I, I want to talk about the the email that went out yesterday. So let's, uh, let's just clarify that. So the basically the email that went out is basically saying that they're not going to be able to completely build all of the 22 orders they have based on the configurations. Same email basically it went out in February as well as in April saying that if you have some of these constraints that could cause your build from being uh, your order from being built that they can order that they can build a lot more orders but they can't order a lot of them with, with certain packages and they actually did not explain what packages in the email but they said you need to contact your dealer. So you have two choices either take some items off your order or it'll get pushed to 23 and really it actually doesn't get pushed to 23 so we'll talk about that in just a little bit as well on how that works so let me talk first about the constraint items that you would be looking at uh, that are going to be holding it up and maybe help your order now it's not a guarantee that if you take the items off that it'll get scheduled but it'll help your chance especially if you have you know a July, June, July, August, September, October order I think it really helped your order out so one of them is your luxury package whether it be your XLT Luxury or your Larry Luxury Package, that is one of the constraint items. Another one is your Copilot 360 Package, which is required to have to get the Larry Luxury Package, but that is also holding up uh, the build. So if you have either one of those two, those are the big constraint items. But then also any of your bed items. In fact, I have the constraint list here. Any of your, basically I tell people, any of your bed accessories, your tonneau covers, any of the three tonneau covers, your bed mat, uh, protective film, um, the optional spray and liner, not the one that comes with the package, but the optional, which it doesn't matter either way, it's constrained, right? Bed extender, the bed tray liner, uh, those are all constraint items. Splash guards as well, um, and then your protective fender film. So those are all things you'd want to stay clear of. I found this week the Looms bed lighting, which is a dealer installed option, is also been holding up a couple of our, our orders. I'd probably take those off. So a lot of those things can be put on your vehicle afterwards. Luxury package and co-pilot cannot be. So a lot of people are holding off for those things, uh, but some people um, are okay with it. So uh, you just determine. So if you're willing to take some things off, get those uh, off of your order by July 8th, um, and that will help out and hopefully get your order scheduled, especially those October, September orders, um, August orders. Those will hopefully get scheduled if you take those things off your orders for your hybrids. EcoBoost, if you're you know if you're a January, December order, uh, anything before uh, before December, you should already be scheduled by the end of this month. There's probably no point why you wouldn't be. So after this week, if you have a November or earlier EcoBoost, so June, July, August, September, uh, October EcoBoost order, even November, uh, you should be questioning whether or not you have an approved order with your dealer or what's going on, or it has a constraint item you might want to look at. So that's that's something there you want to look at for EcoBoost orders. Now, let's talk about the changeover for from 22 to 23. What is going to happen? So let's say you're a situation where you have a 23 order and it does not get scheduled in July or in August um, because August they are going to be scheduling as well. So what is going to happen come to 23? Your order will not all along, I've been uh, assuming it's going to be like the Bronco. It is not going to be like the Bronco. It's going to be all new. Uh, they did say because of the way the Bronco went down that they were going to be 
um, you're going to have to put in a new order. Because the way they did it with the Bronco was they duplicated the, the order. Uh, back then it was a 21 order as a 22 order. And then you got with your customer and you looked at the new order guide for 22 and you went ahead and reconfigured uh, and made your changes. And then you saved them. Still had to get all the new paperwork for COVP and everything else uh, submitted. Uh, so they just said, why don't we just do new orders? So from now on, on all anything that gets carried over, and this goes for Maverick. It also goes for, let me look at the vehicles. The Maverick, it goes for Bronco, because there are going to be some Broncos getting switched, uh, get, get, not get uh, completely built this year either. And they will be a carryover, as well as the Mustang Mach-E. So all those, as well as we already did see it with the Transit, all those will uh, not will carry over. So the new system now is going to be that the dealer has to put in a new order for 23 mile a year. So that's going to be, before you think, before you put any comments in there, let me talk a little bit about that. So you'll have to put a new order in, but if you had a 22 order, your order will be prioritized over the new 23 orders of somebody that did not have a 22 order. So not sure on the process on that. They're going to let us know that process. Um, and August 2nd, they'll let us know what that process is, but they did guarantee, they did tell me that anybody that had a 22, their orders were be prioritized over anybody that had, did not have a 22 order putting in a new 23 order. So I don't think you need to go out and hurry and rush and put your order in on August 2nd if you had a 22 order. I think you can relax a little bit. I think those that have, do not have a 22 order, they want to get an order in as quickly as possible, then August 2nd is more important for them than somebody that has a 22 order. The other thing that you're going to get is price. Per, the price protection is not going to happen, not in the, the sense that you might be thinking about it in a sense of we're getting the same price because the builds are going to be different. The configuration, the packages are going to be different for 23s, for the, so they do not usually carry over or, or keep that price going into a, no, a new model year. What they're going to do instead is give each person that had a 22 order, based on their order, their 22 order, they will get a private offer that is going to be able to be used on their 23 order. So it's exactly the same way they did with the Bronco. They, they gave a lot of those Bronco customers a private offer that when they went to go tw do the paperwork on their, their new uh, Bronco for 22, had a uh, private offer that was included and given to them to take off the price of their new 22 to make a difference for that. So hopefully I've clarified that. I think I've covered that. Now do another thing I wanted to remind people is make sure uh, hopefully your dealer when they put your 22 order in got an approved a COVP approved order because I believe if it's not an approved COV, COVP order you will not get a private offer uh, if you had your 22 order in so I actually have seen that with several uh, different people that have reached out to me that said uh, my dealer did not go through and get a COVP approval on my order well, that order basically is like it doesn't exist at all. So if uh, we've been told today, you know, on all, all certified COVP 22 orders, they will get private offers. So if they didn't, if your dealer did not go through and do the proper paperwork and you didn't get that in, then you won't get the private offer. Regardless, you're going to have to put a new 23 order in. But if you, they didn't do a COVP, not only will you be, you won't get prioritized above anybody else in 23, but you also won't get the private offer. So hopefully your dealer did do that and took care of that for you. Uh, that is some confusion, but I wanted to clarify that as well. So I think I've covered everything there. So hope the, uh, that did help you out. Again, you know, I don't know if I mentioned it in that part of the video, but later in the live stream, we did discuss the dates. So August 2nd is when the, the 23 model year uh, Maverick order guides will open up that same day. Uh, the Bronco will open up as well. Uh, or Bronco Sport, I mean, will open up that exact same day as well, and the Explorer. And so um, they're all going to be done the same way. So they're going to open up August 2nd, uh, and that is when anybody, if you have a 22 order that is not scheduled yet, you'll have to put in a new order, just like a brand new order for 23 with your dealer, uh, as well as anybody else that wants to put an order in. So August 2nd is when that day opens up, so you want to make sure that you put that order in there. If you, you could still have a chance of getting scheduled, uh, you know, in the month of August after you put the order in. So if you put your order in on the second, the first day that it opens up for 23, uh, your 22 order could get scheduled that same month because they're going to schedule up into August 18th. And if it does, then you have to, then you can disregard that 23 order or you, you know, or, or you can work with something else out. Now, if you don't want to be held over to 23, 
I'm still going to get information. I have about four questions that actually I, that came up through the live stream later in our Q&A uh, that are great valid questions about the process of some things like incentives. Are they going to get locked in and some other things? So we'll have a part two to this video series uh, coming up. And so we'll get those questions answered and include those in a second part of this video. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on any Ford news update and information, especially when it comes to the maverick but also any of the models uh, when we have information and when those order guides become available we're not sure when that will be either whether it's going to be late july or if it's going to be august 2nd we'll be doing videos on what's standard as well as what's different uh, about any packages for 23 verse 22 so you definitely want to make sure you have those and we'll get to we'll get these questions answered and figure this all out for everybody so that everybody's in the know and what's going on for their uh whatever vehicle they're looking for uh and they're wanting to order or get theirs just scheduled all together so hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did smash that like button and thank you guys for watching and uh hopefully you just be patient with uh ford and with us and we'll get these all figured out and get your vehicles in your driveway soon so thank you again and we'll see you on the next video.